Hey, how's it going YouTube? Today I have an awesome video with the Steel Series Nova Pro Wireless Edition. This comes with the headset and the DAC along with a few other accessories. So I am really excited to get into this with you guys. Just for reference, I have been using the Razer Black Shark V2 Wired Edition, I believe. I'm going to be very excited to get into all of the different functions that SteelSeries has added into this headset. So let's get right into it. All right, full disclosure guys, I already unboxed this, but there is a problem with the audio. I had some kind of like EMI that I think my router gives off, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get to opening this once again. First thing I'd like to mention is I have the PC and PlayStation version of this. Now, I highly recommend you don't get this version. Get the Xbox version because that is the one that costs the same as this, as every other version of this, but it does work on Xbox. This one does not work on Xbox. However, the Xbox version does work on PlayStation, Switch, and this also works for the Switch and everything, but just does not have the hardware or software to work with the Xbox. It is weird that they did that. They should have just made one version and made it compatible with everything. All right, let's take a look at that box real quick. As you can see, I try to stuff everything back in there to the best of my abilities. If you would like to pause, take a look at all the accessories it comes with, there you go. All right, let's shimmy this off real quick. If you were one of the first users to get one of these headsets, you get a nice little first edition card here. It's just a neat little token to say thank you for being one of the first people to get it. It's made out of a little cardboard and it has a holographic uh, kind of picture there on the front. Next, you have your documentation, instruction manual. You have the headset itself, which sadly comes in this like kind of flimsy little case here for 350 schmackaroos. It would have been very nice to have a hard shell case with this, especially since this can kind of be a travel headset as well with the Bluetooth and ANC functionality. So kind of a miss uh, with that aspect there. Next, you have the DAC itself. This is going to give you that wireless functionality. It will also be able to charge the extra battery for the headset right here. So whenever you're playing, you can just pop it out of the headset. The capacitor keeps power to the headset while you're switching batteries. You won't be able to hear anything, but you won't have to go through the hassle of reconnecting that headset every time you switch batteries. So you have your little dial here with the button, and I believe this is a button too, a touch button. On the back, you have your USB-C ports, one of which can go to your PC, PlayStation, PlayStation Switch, and if you have the Xbox version, you can connect to an Xbox, but each of these can be compatible for basically anything that you would need it for. And then you have a line in and a line out, so very neat little DAC dock right here and I think it honestly looks pretty nice to just throw on your desk just like that. Next we have all of the accessories. You have a USB-C to USB-A cable for your PC or console and they give you two of those bad boys. You also get your extra battery here, and that is a very small battery to get 22 hours out of. I think it is also very awesome that they throw the battery with the headset and they don't make you like purchase an extra one, so huge W for the extra battery. Next you get a little windscreen that can be placed onto the mic that is built into the headset for your P's and your T's. And lastly, you have a 
3.5 millimeter jack which will be useful if for whatever reason you want to play wired I think you get better audio quality that way but I mean you're buying this for the wireless functionality so uh, I mean this could be pretty useful if you're on a flight and you'd want to watch a movie on the back of the headseat so that's uh that's pretty neat all right next you have the star of the show in this little kind of microfibery case here and then the headset itself i think this headset looks very very sleek and stylish which can be used as just a normal everyday headset it gives me like a B and O kind of vibes. So just a quick look around the headset. You have a headband here with adjustable kind of like a back of a snapback like little grooves here to adjust this little headband up here. On the top it's made out of aluminium. And then you have leather ear cuffs which feel very nice and plush. On this side you have your Bluetooth button which is very neat that you could have a Bluetooth connection and the 2.4 connection. The 2.4 gigahertz is provided by this and the Bluetooth can be supplemented by your phone, MacBook, laptop, whatever you'd like so realistically you can be playing a game via the 2.4 connection and listening to a music uh, song, podcast, whatever you'd like on the Bluetooth simultaneously, which is an awesome feature. Next, you have the mic. I really like how nice and just recessed into the headset it is, so it pops out just like that. Here you have the LED for your mute functionality, which the button is on this cuff, by the way. You could also change the brightness level of this on the deck, which is very awesome. You also have your volume here, uh, the mute button, as I was saying, and the power button. On this cuff, you have a USB-C port, which is very nice and a useful addition because if you do take these as a travel headset, you can charge the battery via a USB connection and you don't have to take the DAC everywhere you go just to keep this headset powered. On the other side, you do have that battery here so if you are playing games your headset's dying out you pop and swap it with the battery pack that is charging in the dock again 22 hours per battery and it takes around three and a half hours to fully charge that so you can realistically be playing forever and never have any kind of battery anxiety that at least i get with a wireless headset such as this one thing that I did want to mention is that there is software that comes with this headset that can control all of the settings in the DAC and also give you features such as chat mix, but that's only available to you if you have a PC. So that is rather unfortunate that it is done that way and there's not an application for your phone or something of that nature to squeeze every bit of functionality out of this. Next, we'll do a comfort test of the headset, and uh, let me throw this bad boy on real quick. Alright, so that is nice and cozy. I do want to adjust the little fabric headset up here, because I kind of have a big head. But as you can see, if you are going around in the airports like this, uh, you know, you'll look, uh, you look pretty classy, if I do say so myself. Alright you guys, well that was the unboxing and first impressions of the Steel Series Nova Pro Wireless. I am going to be spending a lot more time with this headset so I could give you guys a really in-depth review of how I feel things like the sound quality, the wireless function, Bluetooth, active noise canceling, if these could really kind of take over your one headset for everything kind of thing. Like I personally only travel on planes maybe a couple times a year so I don't really need like AirPods Max or anything. Having one headset for uh, a couple plane flights a year and also be a very awesome gaming wireless headset. Well, I think this, this one 
might just uh, take the cake. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, and a sub below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.